Can't you send someone any sooner? The clock is ticking and I need this resolved ASAP. I'm sorry, but we don't have any adventurers available at this instant. Ah, your timing is most optimal. Allow me to introduce Yu Ning, manager of the Yunhan Opera Troupe. She has commissioned the guild to... Traveler? Ugh, Yunjin is always talking about you. Please, you've got to help us find her. Yep, she's gone and disappeared. Now of all times, just days away from the big performance. All she left was a short note. If our audience doesn't get to see Yunjin on stage, they'll start tearing the place down. I mean, what am I supposed to do, huh? That's what I said too, but... Look, when you're a megastar like Yunjin, you gotta start taking things a little more seriously. Saying she'll be back doesn't give me a whole lot of reassurance when she's showing no regard for her own safety. Why does she have to go and practice somewhere so dangerous? What if something happens to her? What am I going to tell the audience? Well then, what if she gets into a scrape and hurts herself? If she gets so much as a scratch, it'll be a loss to the whole nation. <sighs> as you can see, this is what we're up against. Would you be willing to accept this commission? Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank the stars. Please, you've got to bring her back, safe and sound. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Oh, it's you. I do apologize. I didn't see you there. What brings you all the way up here? Oddly enough, I was just thinking of scheduling a meeting with you later. I didn't expect to run into you here, of all places. Ah, oh, I see. So Yunning sent you. I did tell her not to worry. Oh, but on this occasion, it seems I'm rather lucky you came. You've helped me avert a major catastrophe. It's a pity, though. I was so close to achieving the state of mind that Shenhe was talking about. Do you remember what Shenhe said about the Divine Damsel fighting against the evil monster? That in reality, she hadn't acted as courageously as the operatic rendition would have you believe. That it was simply a matter of life and death, and she chose self-preservation. Granted, she later admitted that she preferred the version of events given in the opera, with its portrayal of a divine heroine sacrificing herself for others. But after giving it a lot of consideration, I think that this character is defined by her emotional complexity, and even uncertainty. So the more emotions I can experience for myself, the wider range I will have to draw on in my performance. If access to a different state of mind can help me provide a fresh interpretation of the character and her actions, well, surely it will take my acting skills to the next level. That's why I came here. My plan was to take it slowly, start by just dipping my toe in, as it were. But once I started, I just got completely drawn in. <sighs> I feel like I was so close to a breakthrough here. Considering the rewards that I could reap from this experience, the risk is negligible. Still, if I choose to continue, this is unlikely to be the last time I'd need your help. Hmm. I suppose I had better return to Liyue Harbor for now. I'll only end up putting you in an awkward position otherwise. Goodness knows how you'd explain this to Yuning. I wonder whether I have gained anything useful from this trip. I suppose only time will tell. Can you put a few more adventurers on the case or something? The clock's still ticking away. Please have faith in him. Ah, they've returned. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. 
<sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out exploring. That's fine. But do you really have to go off thrill-seeking this close to the show? You have to take better care of yourself, okay? For all our sakes, for the opera troupe and for your audience. We're just lucky we had the Traveler to help out. What if something had happened to you, huh? What would I say to our audience, hmm? Well, I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Don't you agree? While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, anything I can do to improve my acting ability, even the slightest amount, I can't pass up the opportunity. You know, you... you... Ugh, I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. So, what's your honest opinion? Exactly, exactly. Just think of all the people coming from far and wide just to show you their support. <sighs> Why do you make it sound like they are coming to see me and not the show? Well, same difference, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. They seem quite different to me. <sighs> well, either way, you're quite right. I mustn't let down our audience, especially those who came from afar. And I certainly mustn't make you come out looking for me again. So I suppose I will put my training exercises on hold for a while. Whew, I'm glad to know that the brightest star in my troop is finally going to start listening to reason. <sighs> I'm going to head back and see how the set is coming along. Don't go disappearing on me again. <sighs> All right, I'll head back and do some rehearsing. It's no substitute for first-hand experience, but it should still help me iron out a few issues. <laughs> Speaking of which... I haven't even thanked you properly for saving me. If you are free after the show, come and find me at Hayu Tea House. Liyue Opera is really something, but Liyue Opera performed by Miss Yun, now that's something else! Thrilling performance! I've never seen anything like it before in my life! Your reputation is well deserved! <laughs> Well, I've had the pleasure of seeing the talented Miss Yun on stage many a time in the past, but the songs still sound fresh and new every single time. It's been barely a few days since I last saw you perform, but once again, Yun Jin, you've progressed by leaps and bounds. Oh, you're far too kind, both of you. I'm still new to the profession. But I promised myself when I joined the troupe that I would strive to develop myself as a performer every day. And I wouldn't be where I am now without everyone's faithful support. Nonsense, you're too humble, Miss Yun. You're a major celebrity. Who in Liyue hasn't heard the name Yun Jin? <laughs> in the circles I move in, anyone who says they've never seen Yun Jin on stage is at risk of getting laughed out of business. <laughs> <sighs> As it happens, I have a business meeting at the Xinyue kiosk with a client who is also a big fan of yours. So, <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd perhaps like to join us for the meal. Oh, uh, me too. I have booked a table at the Leoli Pavilion and was hoping you might join me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to both of you, but I won't be able to make it. I'm very grateful for the invitations, but I'm afraid uh, I already have arrangements for this evening. Isn't that right, Traveler? <laughs> okay, you have plans, but uh, you're really gonna pass this up? I mean, you can always reschedule. Wait a second, you're... Well, I guess it's not going to work out today, then. Maybe another day, Miss Yoon. Huh. They took off pretty quick. Do they know something I don't? Haha, <laughs> I guess I'll be leaving too. 
wouldn't want to cramp your style. Take care, both of you. Sorry that I can't see you off. Whew. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Again. Look at you. You're a national treasure. Even Gentry Mautsai is in awe of you. I feel a little sorry for Shinue Kiosk in the Uli Pavilion. I just hope the food won't go to waste. I don't think we'd be able to get a seat this late. But it's fine. I have a better place we can go. Let's head downstairs. I owe you a big thank you tonight. M M Miss Yoon? Oh wow, it's really you! I, um, <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here! Oh, ditzy girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing! Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Yun. Don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Miss Yoon, I'm interested to know why you added a silk dance to the scene where the Divine Damsel makes her appearance. Hmm? You... you noticed that? Yes! Based on the original script, that scene would see your character perform the Adeptus Walk. But the addition of the silk dance meant that the whole way you carried yourself was so much more... so much more... Animated. Yes, yes! But delicate and graceful like a crane! Uh, oh, sorry, which publication are you from? How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I... well... Ah, yeah, well, we're from the Steambird. I am Boy Yi, the editor-in-chief. This young lady is Shuryun, one of my journalists. We were based in Fontaine. Just recently we made the move back to Liyue. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. Th that's very kind of you, but really, my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. Hey! Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here! Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her! Talk to her! Actually, I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. Then I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. But what about our plans? Really? Okay, sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Yoon. Great. Thank you both kindly. Let's find a quiet place and get this interview underway. Oh, I see. So that's why you added the silk dance in this scene. Yes, exactly. Doing it this way not only allows for more physicality in my movement, it also means I can make better use of the stage and transition into the scene more quickly. Ah, okay. So there was even more to it than I thought. So wouldn't it make sense to contrast this with the Dong Tong Appassionado section that comes directly afterward by making the latter a little more sophisticated? I think I know which section you're talking about. Ah, sorry, sorry. What am I saying? This is a fixed formula, isn't it? My suggestion would completely break the format. No, it's okay. It's an interesting idea for sure. I'll give it some thought. Thanks for the suggestion. <gasps> really? Wow, I'm so honored. <laughs> Um, uh, Shuryun, maybe it's time to move on to some of the things our readers would like to know about, hmm? Oh, okay, um, I was also going to ask for your opinion on the set and the costumes. Um, <clears throat> yes, well, I'm sure Miss Yun has countless pearls of wisdom she could share on her chosen craft. <laughs> but, uh, not all of our readers are quite so, uh... <clears throat> Artistically literate, shall we say. 
a, a, a lot of them really just want to know more about you. You know, what does Yunjin do when she is off stage? Hmm? Excuse me? When I'm off stage? Uh, you know, you're a major celebrity, and a lot of our readers are interested to know what life is like for you, what kind of place you live in, what kind of things you eat, clothes you wear, things you buy, that whole side of things. A day in the life. Um, besides rehearsing, a day in my life isn't really any more interesting than anyone else's. Nonsense, of course it is. Just think how many people were at your show earlier. They come from all over just to show their support. In fact, a relative of mine has a daughter who's been saying she wants to broaden her horizons recently. She's been looking for a chance to give you a jade hairpin as a gift. Hmm? Oh. It's against the rules of the opera troupe to accept private gifts from patrons. Hmm. Could someone out there be accepting gifts for the troupe under false pretenses? I must get Yunning to look into it. Um, I, I mean, it, it wasn't a big deal. Just something she said. Uh, forget I brought it up. <laughs> So, I saw Gentry Maotsai and the Snezhnayan gentleman come down from upstairs. Are they patrons of your shows, too? So, what are your thoughts on Snezhnaya and the Fatui? <sighs> I'm sorry, this is my first interview and my notes are becoming a total mess. I might need a moment to pause and reorganize them a little. Otherwise, I'll never be able to work all this into an article. Uh, Mr. Boy, maybe you should take a look too. Don't be ridiculous. Stopping an interview halfway through to organize your notes? What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Miss Yun, we'll just be a moment. Oh. I'm fine. It's not the first time I've been asked questions like these. The last time it happened, Yunning stopped the interview for me. But the next day, the tabloids were full of articles like Dramatic Exit, Yunjin Storms Out of Interview, and Miss Ladida Opera Star is Too Good for Our Questions. <sighs> yeah. So from then on, Yunning said all interview requests have to go through her. I used to think I could hold the troupe together just by putting on a good performance. But now, I have to make sure I concentrate on my actions offstage, too. <sighs> oh, you mean Fanarya and that crowd? I cherish them as members of my audience, too. But there aren't many people like them who can appreciate all the nuance in a single viewing. How did Shuryun end up working with an editor like that guy? Something feels wrong there. Oh, they could be back at any moment, so I should stay here for now. But could you go look into it for me? If you find out anything, come straight back here and let me know. I just... How can you be so cruel to Miss Yoon? Shh, keep your voice down. Whatever you got to say, it can wait until we're out of earshot. We'll both be in hot water if Yunjin finds out. What's wrong with you? Why can't you get it into your head? Quit asking dull questions and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do I make myself clear? I don't think you realize what a golden opportunity you have here. How many journalists would give anything they had to trade places with you right now? Huh? Ever think about that? You... you just don't get it! Miss Yun has put her heart and soul into... Enough! Stop yelling in public! Or do you want Miss Yun to hear about all the lies you're spreading about her? <gasps> Me? You're the one making everything up! Ah, well, you sure seemed pretty happy chatting to her, so don't act like you ain't a part of this. And don't
don't forget the contract you signed. Ugh, come. We'll continue our little chat over there. You need to listen and learn, young lady. I... I... Are you ready to stop whining now? Do you have any idea how rare an opportunity like this is for a small-time paper like ours? Just think of the sales if we can get an exclusive. <laughs> We'd have enough to cover your salary for two lifetimes. But, but what about us pretending to be from the Steambird? Aren't you worried she'll find out? <clears throat> you really think she still would have talked to you if I hadn't told that little white lie? Hmm? Besides, what have you got to be afraid of? As long as we make it sound like an eyewitness account, how will she be able to refute it? Heck, if she actually presses the issue, I'll probably have to thank her for keeping it current for me. <laughs> <sighs> this is horrible. I will not let you treat Miss Yun like this. I don't know who she thinks she is anyway. Oh, I sang a couple of shows, so now I'm a national superstar. Give me a break. No one wants to read about your sopranos or your falsettos. We give the readers what they want. That's how this business works. Case in point, that blonde guy seemed to be getting along pretty well with Yun Jin. There's definitely a story there, even if there isn't. Ugh, that's enough. I'm reporting you to the Millilith. Report me? What for? Libel? Identity theft? Good luck with that. I haven't written anything. Where's your proof? Hmm? I... I... You better tread carefully, Missy. First you neglect your own duties, and now you're trying to get in the way of mine? You signed the contract. You know full well the consequences. If you sabotage this interview, I will make sure you lose everything you have. I will ruin you. You understand? Why? Oh, why did I sign that contract? <clears throat> well, think very carefully about what you're going to do. This is a rare opportunity. Now, I need to think how to phrase these interview questions. Hmm. You... Uh, hey, wait! Did you find anything out? <sighs> I see. I knew there was something fishy about that editor-in-chief. But this is a bigger plot twist than I expected. Not yet. All he's done so far is ask a few questions. There's nothing in print yet. The Millilith wouldn't be able to do anything even if we got them involved. Besides, if we rush to report him now, it's only going to give him more material to write about. You're right, but tabloids like theirs never have permanent offices and printing presses. The moment they hear anything, they'll disappear without a trace, and you've got no chance of catching them. I'm actually more concerned about another detail you told me. Would you be willing to do me another favor? I want to send a letter to that journalist. Great, thank you. Oh, the editor should be here soon, so I'll stay here to deal with him. I'll have to rely on you to deliver the letter. If everything goes well, we should be able to get some breathing room for a while. I've had it with you. Do you think contracts are just bits of paper? If we weren't on a tight deadline, you'd better believe I'd fire you right here on the spot. Hmm. You will stay here and reflect on your actions if you know what's good for you. Sorry, but I'm not babysitting you anymore today. Oh, what am I going to do? You're... you're... the one who was with Miss Yun earlier. 
Oh, really? Miss Yun wrote me a letter? Oh, I'll read it right away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Really? I can't believe this. Miss Yun says that under Liyue law, any penalty charge I have to pay may not substantially exceed the amount of my salary. You can't have a labor contract that would completely bankrupt the employee in the event of a breach. It's not legally binding. So not only can he not get any money off of me, I can take this contract to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and blow the whistle on him. I didn't think about any of this when I was job hunting. I just signed the contract without a second thought. I always thought Ms. Yun was all about opera. Who would have thought she was such a legal expert, too? <sighs> if only I hadn't gone out of my way to get Miss Yun's attention in the first place, none of this would have happened. I didn't expect it to end up with Miss Yun helping fix my life problems. Well, Mr. Boyi says I'm still on probation, so he won't tell me where their work location is. Plus, I give all my draft articles straight to him, so I don't have anything in the way of evidence. But the letter says that my statement and the contract are enough to get the Millilith looking into it. If Miss Yun says so, I'm sure she must be right. Let's go confront him right now. Okay, I think I've covered this topic pretty thoroughly now. Unless you had any more questions? <laughs> well, well, what can I say, Miss Yun? You have so many wonderful qualities. Let's not quit while the ball's rolling, huh? Otherwise, I'll think of something I didn't ask later, and by then, it'll be too late. So, um, hey, where's that, uh, friend of yours who was here earlier? You guys seemed, uh, pretty close. Not intentionally avoiding the interview, surely. <laughs> You're finally back. This poor gentleman's been waiting for you. You... You're with... Shiryun? Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Shiryun, don't forget the contract you signed. The Traveler clued me in. This contract you made me sign? It isn't worth the paper it's written on. Isn't worth the paper it's written on? Don't be ridiculous, it's all there, clear as day. Don't you think I did my research? Research? Oh, so you're a news editor, but you also have an interest in law? Uh, uh, yeah, she, she, she's new, and she's making a fool of herself. She doesn't get how this all works. My apologies. Now, uh, back to our interview? No, it's okay. In fact, I've found myself delving into some legal texts recently. It's all so intricate and complicated that it's very difficult to take it all in. The contracts of our opera troupe are a case in point. I'd finally finished reading through the relevant documentation from the Yuehai Pavilion, when suddenly the Qixing announced a new interpretation. So I'm just curious. How can you be completely sure that you didn't miss anything when you were researching this? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read everything relevant. Under current legislation, the penalty terms in my labor contract are unreasonable and exploitative. I could report you to the Millilith for extortion. Nonsense! Th th that's ridiculous! My goodness. Sir, it seems that we should probably bring this interview to a close here. D d don't listen to her! I run a legitimate business. Everything we do is above board. Oh, I have no doubt about that at all, sir. But this reminds me of a case I read about not long ago. Once you get reported and the Millilith starts scrutinizing your business, well, not only do they look into every license you have and every work you've ever published, but everything down to your fire safety policy will come under their magnifying glass as well. So if you don't get back now and start preparing for their arrival... Well, I mean, I don't mind continuing the interview at all. But I'd hate to take up too much of your precious time, if there's any aspect of your business you want to double-check, from a legal standpoint. Ah, uh, you... I won't forget this! Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Miss Yun? Why did you stop me?
right. And the contract I have is enough to get him arrested, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not a legal expert. I haven't the faintest idea. All that was just an act, aimed at getting him to show us the way. An act? Show us the way to what? Eugene, the Millilith are after him. Based on his movements, it looks like Boyi is heading back to his headquarters. <sighs> I really hope they teach these tabloids a lesson they won't forget. It'd sure make my life a lot easier. Yes, I had Yunning report to the Millilith while you were delivering the letter for me. The penalty terms in Shuryun's contract are too severe. Even if they don't violate the law, I'm sure he must be taking advantage of some loopholes. Anyone who works like that is sure to have a guilty conscience. So all I had to do was put on a little show, starring the editor-in-chief of the Steambird. And now, he is sure to lead us to the solid evidence. <laughs> well, acting has to be authentic to be believable. Their little publication will go out of business in no time. <laughs> Good riddance, I say. I hope this gets the other tabloids to rein in their antics too. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe we could get him to rat on some of his rival publications. Ah, I only just realized what this means. I'm... I'm going to be out of a job, aren't I? Hmm... Well... Would you still be interested in submitting an article to the Steambird? But the real one this time? Well, yes, of course! But uh, would they really accept an article from me? Yunning, when can we arrange the next interview for? Oh, so now you're asking me. <laughs> Two days from now, morning. Work for you? Okay. Sure, Yun. Let's continue our discussion about tonight's play two days from now. Does this mean I get to do a full feature interview with you? Okay, I think I know what I want to write about. Thank you, Miss Yun. Don't mention it. I'm sure it will be a source of inspiration for both of us. <laughs>